Today on Rust Belt Airgun, I'm going to re-review the UREX DX-17 air pistol. This is a redux, if you will. I reviewed this air pistol early on in my YouTube channel, but feel like this air pistol deserves a second look. The DX-17 is a single-stroke Springer or spring piston air gun. No CO2 cartridge is required here as it uses a compressed spring as a power plant. This air pistol is of dual ammo type. It can shoot either BBs or pellets at velocities up to 200 FPS. The DX-17 features a metal slide and polymer receiver. This air pistol has remarkably comfortable grips. The DX-17 weighs 15.6 ounces or 444 grams. Its overall length is 9 and 3 8 inches or 23.81 centimeters. And its height from the top of the rear sight to the base of the grip is 5 and 3 quarter inches or 14.6 centimeters. DX-17 is proudly emblazoned on this air pistol's metal slide. The UMARX logo can be seen towards the bottom of each grip. This air pistol has fixed front and rear iron sights. The rear sight is of a standard notch design, while the front sight is of the standard post type. Fiber optics are built into the front sight to aid in aiming in low light situations. Up to 15 BBs can be loaded into the BB loading port, while pellets are loaded individually into the barrel breech. The BB loading port must be devoid of BBs before a pellet is loaded. This air pistol is equipped with a Picatinny rail on the bottom of the receiver so that accessories such as a laser sight can be mounted. Umarex DX-17's closest competitor is the Marksman 1018 air pistol, seen here. The DX-17 comes in a clear plastic clamshell style packaging intended for retail sales. The front of the package proudly displays the DX-17 along with a bonus tin of 200.177 caliber steel BBs that comes with this air pistol. That is why Umarex calls this the DX-17 kit. Above the DX-17 the words Extreme Steel BB Pistol are displayed. My thoughts are that Umarex is talking about the steel BB projectiles the DX-17 fires as the actual air pistol is composed mostly of polymer plastic. The back of the packaging displays just the slide and barrel of the DX-17. Just below it are this air pistol's attributes, which are that it could shoot .177 steel BBs, this air pistol has a spring piston power plant, it has a smooth bore barrel, and that the front sight is equipped with fiber optics. The bottom of the bonus tin of 200.177 caliber steel BBs can also be seen. The base of the packaging serves two purposes. It holds the included owner's manual and makes the package freestanding for display purposes. As mentioned, the DX-17 comes with a bonus tin of 200.177 caliber steel BBs. In addition, this air pistol comes with an obligatory owner's manual, a page of air gun safety rules, a yellow insert is included indicating that you should not return the DX-17 back to the store you purchased it from if defective. Instead, you are to contact the manufacturer, in this case Umarex, for service, repair, or replacement of this air pistol. A postcard touting the superiority of Umarex Precision Steel BBs is included. Finally, an orange insert is included, indicating that the DX-17 is recommended for ages 16 or older. This insert includes other safety warnings regarding the handling of air guns. The DX-17 safety can only be engaged when this air pistol is cocked. Push the safety from the left side to engage. The red indicator on the safety should be covered when engaged. Push the safety from the right side to disengage.
The GX-17's internal BB magazine allows you to put several shots down range in short order. The DX-17 shoots high, about an inch. There's nothing much you do about it other than to compensate when aiming, as this air pistol's sights are fixed. It is possible that Umarex designed the DX-17 to shoot high to compensate for projectile drop caused by its low muzzle velocity. I was really impressed with the fit and finish of the DX-17 air pistol, given that it currently retails for under $35 US dollars on Amazon, since this is a Springer or Spring Piston air pistol, the only consumables are the projectiles, either steel BBs or pellets. No CO2 cartridge required. The fiber optics built into the front sight and Picatinny rail for mounting accessories, like a laser sight, are a nice touch. So if you're looking for an inexpensive plinker for indoor or outdoor use at a fair price, the DX-17 may be the air pistol for you. You can purchase the DX-17 using my Amazon referral link in the description. Please like this post and subscribe to Rust Belt Airgun so that you're alerted to my future posts. Thank you.